Okay, welcome to episode 7 of One Look Megamix OLL. Today we're going to be covering sets 26, 27, and 33. These are the awkward shapes, so they're equivalent to this set on 3x3. And I think only one of them is even kind of a 3x3 transfer. Um, they're basically all new ALGs, but um, they're all pretty easy to learn, and the recognition is something that you should be pretty used to from 3x3. Um, so I think they're pretty easy to learn and pretty nice cases. So there's 12 cases altogether, and as always, every ALG that I mention will be listed down in the description, as well as links to my Megamix OLL trainer and my Megamix ALGs document, which contains all of the OLL and PLL ALGs that I use and recommend. So that out of the way, let's get into it. So first up we have set 27. As you can see, these cases look basically identical to these awkward shaped cases on 3x3. The differentiating factor here that tells you it's set 27 is that at the top of this kind of lightning bolt part of the shape, um, we have two edges, right? So it gets wider as it goes up here. Um, if there's one edge, then it'll just get narrower at the top, and that tells, you it's tw that tells you it's set 26. And then there's another thing for set 33, which I'll show you later on. But for here, this is set 27, and um, as far as telling them apart goes, it's the exact same as it is on 3x3 with the awkward shapes. So the plus and minus cases are, of course, mirrors, as always. The A cases have this bar here, and the B cases have no bar. So very, straight, uh, very straightforward recognition and something you're probably already pretty much used to. Um, anyway, as for the algorithms, this first one here, 27A+, is just a one-move setup into 22B, which we learned back in the first episode. So if you don't remember it, that's just hedge inverse sexy. So this algorithm is from this front angle, and we do BL prime with our left middle finger, and then hedge inverse sexy, nothing special there, and then BL to finish off with our right index. Because these first two moves are on opposite faces, we can do them at the same time. And then the same thing with the last two moves, we can do those two at the same time, right? Like that. So put together, that would look like this. And just done a bit faster, it looks like that. Ooh. There you go. So very nice case. Um, the second one here, 27A minus, is just the same as 27A plus, but from the back, right? So it's not a setup into a case we already know, but it's the same thing, just from the back. So it's very easy to learn. So we do L, and then back hedge, where we do both of the BR moves with our index finger, like that. And then U prime, R prime, U, which I drag with my ring finger, and then R L prime, right? Just like that. And again, first two moves at the same time, last two moves at the same time. So just like that. So it's a very nice case. Um, it is admittedly, well, it's, it's a strange move set, right? L, R, B, R, and U moves. I don't think it's that risky, but it's maybe something that you'll be uncomfortable with. So if you are uncomfortable with it, there's an RUFL, which you can do from this angle, which I think is definitely slower and isn't even really safer, but you know, you can play around with it and see if it works for you. But anyway, that algorithm is like this. R2 prime, U prime, R, F, R prime, U, R2, U prime, R prime, F prime, R, right? Just like that. So I don't really like this algorithm. I use it for the angle, but other than that, I don't use it. Um, but yeah, try it and see if it works for you. Anyway, for these last two, 27B plus, this is um, a new algorithm, but it's pretty easy to learn, I think. It's just hedge, then U2 prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, and insert, right? So it's just essentially taking the pair out with hedge and then doing a winter variation. And the only special finger trick there is that U2 with your left index finger like that. But yeah, pretty easy ALG. And then finally, 27B minus. This is, I guess, kind of a 3x3 transfer. Um, for this OLL on 3x3, some people will use this ALG, which is double sledge, double sexy. It's not super common as far as I can tell, but if you do use that, that's what we're using on Mega Minx. So from this sort of side angle, it looks like this. Double sledge, double sexy, and done. Um, so there's no really special finger tricks or anything there, it's just, you know, TPS spam, I guess, which I'm not amazing at, but there you go. And next up we have set 26. So like I mentioned before, the recognition of this set is basically the same as set 27. Um, the, the, the thing that I recognize that distinguishes them is that with the lightning bolt part of this sort of top pattern, with set 26, just, there's just one edge at the top here. So it kind of narrows down to a point rather than widening out the way that um, set 27 did. I guess you could also see there's two edges on the left, so you could see that like the side part of this lightning bolt is wider with set 26. If that works for you, then go for it, but however you recognize it, you'll see this set 26, and then you're looking for the same stuff, right? So the plus and minus case are mirrors, so you're looking at the direction of it, and then are there bars or aren't there? Um, with these cases, the, um, the ones without bars are the A cases, and the ones with bars are the B cases, but that's just, you know, names, it doesn't actually matter. You're just looking for are there bars or aren't there? 
Anyway, that's the recognition. Should be pretty easy to get used to. As for the algorithms, I think they're pretty easy to learn too. So this first one here, 26A+, we do from this sort of side angle, so the headlights in the back left, and it looks like this. R U R prime U, sledge, then U R U two R prime. So the only really even noteworthy finger trick there is just that U two with our left index. But yeah, pretty basic R U F turning. Um, it's not a super ergonomic algorithm, but it's you know pretty short and pretty basic finger tricks. So it should be pretty easy to learn. The second one here, 26A minus, we do from this sort of side angle, so headlights on the left hand side, and then the algorithm looks like this. F R prime U2 prime, R F R prime F prime, U2 R F prime. So essentially we're doing three moves to set it up to kind of a sexy move with R and F moves, right, like that, and then just undoing those first three moves. So just like that. And again, very basic finger tricks, like that. Now for 26B. So 26B plus here, we do from this angle, right? And the algorithm looks like this. F, U, R, U prime. So we drag that first U. And then B, R, R prime, F prime, R. B, R prime with our index finger, R prime. Um, this algorithm, you can actually think about intuitively if that helps. Um, so essentially what we're doing here is a smart version of two lock. So from this angle, we do E, O with F inverse X, F prime and then we cancel into a commutator for this case, right? Which looks like that. Um, so cancel together, you get the algorithm that I showed before. So if that helps you learn it, then that's great, go for it. But um, either way, it's a pretty short algorithm, so it should be pretty easy to learn. And done a bit faster, or not, done a bit faster, looks like that. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice case. And then here for 26B minus, we just do the back mirror of 26B plus. Um, so that's gonna be from this angle, right? So just the mirror of the previous one. And it looks like this, BR prime, U prime, R prime, U, F prime, R, BR, R prime, F, which we push with our left index finger, R. That uh, push F there is pretty important because it allows you to do the ELG without reloading or regrouping, so it just makes it way faster. Just like that. So very nice case. And finally we have set 33. So this set might look a little bit different to the other two, but I'd still consider it an awkward shape because if you compare it to the awkward shapes on 3x3, it still has this sort of lone corner and it still has this kind of shape. It's just that instead of being like a lightning bolt shape like it is on 3x3, it's kind of a lightning bolt shape that splits in two at the end like that. So there's two separated corners, uh, edges, rather than just the one that we have on 3x3. But other than that, the recognition works exactly the same way that it does for the other two cases, sorry, for the other two sets. So we have bars for these A cases, no bars for the B cases, and they're of course mirrors. So I still think it's part of the same sort of group of cases. Um, anyway, the algorithms are a little bit slower for the set, but they're still very easy to learn. I think just as easy as the other two sets. Um, so they're still you know, very worth knowing. So this first one here, 33A+, is actually kind of like the awkward shapes on 3 3 in the sense that the algorithm that I recommend is just two look, right? So from this angle, it's just F inverse sexy F prime and then back anti soon. So it's basically the fastest two look case you could have. Um, it's still not super fast, but it's faster than any of the algorithms that I've tried. Um, there's another algorithm that some people use, which is from this angle. It's an RUF thing. I personally find it to be slower, but you might want to try it out and see if it works for you because I know there are still some pretty fast mega mixers who use it. And it looks like this R U to R prime. F prime U2 F, U2 prime R, U2 prime R prime. So it's short in HTM, but it's just a lot of quarter turns and a lot of double flips, and I just don't find it to be faster. But try it out and see if it works for you. Anyway, for the second case here, we're gonna do it from this angle, and it looks like this. R prime U prime R U prime, R prime U, F prime U prime F, R U R prime U R, right? So very basic finger tricks, it's just very TPS spammable. Fortunately, my TPS spam is not very good, but there you go. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get a good experience, shall we? There we go, that's okay. And for the last two, this first one here, 33B+, plus, is just from this front angle, same as 33A+, plus, and it looks like this. If you then double sexy, then R, U prime, R prime, F prime. 
So super easy to learn. And again, very sort of TPS spam rule. Just like that. And finally, 33B minus. This is the mirror of the previous L. So we're going to do it from this angle, and it's just BR R U gen. And it looks like this. BR prime U prime. R prime U prime R U. R prime U prime R U. R prime U R B R. Right? Just like that. So that's it for today.